What's going on, YouTube? My name is Michael. And I'm Jake. And we are part of the Forgotten Legion 30K group. Yeah, you can actually find us on Facebook at the South Texas 30K Horse Heresy Group. Yeah, we're out of Victoria, Texas, and this is our first battle report. So they'll get better. Yeah, don't worry. We're a lot more funny when we're not recording. Yeah. So anyway, this is actually going to be the mission we're going to be playing. It's called Shuttle Down. Uh, it's 3,000 points. It's Raven Guard versus Alpha Legion. Actually, me versus one of our members. Jay. Uh, Jay Villa. Yeah. So. Yeah, so stay tuned. All right, man. So this is what I ran. I ran the Demolicus Rhino. You see it back there. Uh, there's a Fire Raptor, clearly. Uh, that's actually one of the Death Storm drop pods. It's a drop pod with the missile launchers inside Open of sesame. it. Open <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I ran... Three units of land speeders. Uh, one unit is javelin land speeders with missile launchers, 200 killer missiles. This front unit is three land speeders with multi meltas and graviton guns. And that back unit is three land speeders with plasma cannons and heavy bolters. Then you got three tack squads, more Dathan, a dark wing, and two Xiphons. Those Xiphons look sweet. Yeah, they were pretty. Paint them already. Pretty, yeah, I know, I need to. So, and that front rhino that you saw earlier, that was actually for one of the tax squads. The rest are just going to infiltrate up. Oh, and I also have a, if you look right there in the middle, that's Strike Commander Mon. Okay. My, uh, that's my interpretation of him. He's bro fisting the ground. <laughs> so, this is what Jay ran. Jay had a Spartan with uh, Alpharius and his 10 man Terminator squad there. Jesus. Two land speeders, also missile launchers, much better painted than mine, with uh, 200 killer missiles each. A, a uh, Contemptor Dreadnought, Daredeo. He had the three quad mortars with a Master of the Signal with him. A Tax Squad, Sicarian, and that Tax Squad's in a Rhino. So I feel like he should get victory points just for the paint. <laughs> that's what everybody's saying. They give him <laughs> at least at least two extra victory <laughs> yeah. points just because of that beautiful blue. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so I was pretty afraid of those quad mortars. Needless to say, I'm sure you did. You attack those first. <laughs> you'll you'll see. You, yeah. Uh, so this is kind of how our deployment was. That was objective five. We had to go back and forth because he had units that were infiltrating, like mine. And so, and this is cor corner deployment. Yeah, corner deployment. So this was his corner over here. He's got his quad motors there. He's got the master of the signal chilling out with him. Uh, Sakarin. He's got it block blocking his the line of sight to his dreadnought. That Daredeo is just waiting for my flyers. Uh, that's the navigator that we're supposed to capture this game. So like a dick, I just infiltrated all my stuff next to the navigator. And since we were flopping, I, I like spread them out so he would have to stay at least 18 inches away from me so when I looked at him uh, so this is my deployment I got nothing there because everything infiltrated uh, my Damocles over there just that was in the corner of my deployment zone and because it's a dedicated transport Jay gave his <laughs> guys <laughs> infiltrate and right so next to his you. Spartan just rolls up so what sucks is he had his first turn so that Damocles isn't going to stand a chance and this guy's infiltrated, just ready to cap Objective 3 if they need to. And so that's pretty much the setup of the battlefield right now. Wow. So I think a lot. So the Navigator, and I'm just going to ask this question because I'm not as experienced as a lot of players are. The Navigator is basically an objective. Yeah. At the end of the game, if you – okay, you have two options. You can run off the table with the Navigator – and that'll get you five victory points. Or if you hold him at the end of the game, he's worth five victory points. Okay. Or at any point during the game, he can you can kill him. Oh, great. And so, it, it, you know, some people will hang on to him just to have that five victory points. And so that's what I'm going to try and do this game. And I lucked out because I'm, I'm all infiltrating army pretty much. And so I'm going to try and grab him and run off that table edge where my tape measure is right there. <laughs> just book <laughs> it. I would probably just get in the game and kill him right away so nobody got five extra points. That's what everybody says to do. Like this, yeah, that's, that's, I feel like that's the what you should do. It's, I'm not going to protect him. I'm not going to spoil what happens, <laughs> but it doesn't go good for the okay. navigator. i gotta, I got to tell you right now. He's a pretty important person. So straight off the bat, I'm trying to seize the initiative. And because I started Mon on the table... 
That roll, that was a two, by the way, that roll. I mean, that dice rolled real slow. Something's wrong with it. Yeah, it's all in slow motion. Oh, that's okay. right. <laughs> so, so because I have Strike Commander Mon, and he started on the table, I get to re-roll my CZ initiative, and boom. Wow. I got it. I've never seen that done before. So that Spartan's not going to... I bet you Jay was mad about that. He, I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> the tension grew real quick. I felt quick. the tension. <laughs> So, yeah, so these were the, uh, this is my first turn. Uh, just for starters, these were the, uh, we had shared tactical objectives. So we had to both draw tactical objective cards, but either of us could capture it. And in this case, it was uh, take objective one and also secure objective three. So mm -hmm. on top of taking the navigator, if somebody takes one of those, then we, we get the points for that. And it's three points for each objective or one for this game? Uh, one. One okay. for each tactical objective. So that's my first turn. Uh, my death storm right there fell in, and I found out it's actually pretty crappy. Uh, really? Yeah, everybody within 12 inches takes uh, D3 shots from the missiles, and it really didn't. It, it, it's a ballistic skill, too, so they didn't really do anything. Aww. Uh, it, it immobilized that contemptor, but otherwise didn't hurt anybody else. So... Uh, these are my tax squads. Uh, my rhino kind of made a little wall to block my guys while they picked up the navigator. Yeah. <laughs> so just like first turn. Hop on in. Just snag that little navigator up. And tell him, hey, we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> my Demolicles ran forward so that Sakaran couldn't just pop it from behind. And uh, so you saw the tactical objectives. One of them was capture objective three. So this You're already dude, there. So you had yeah. just sneaking around. Just, yeah. Just ready to get on that. So. If, if at the end of my turn, which is going to happen, I control objective three, I'm going to snag up that victory point. So that's that. And, and the navigator, can it actually embark? Uh, no, no. Okay. It, there's a rule that you, it's it's pretty much you can't put them in a rhino, you can't put them in a transport, nothing like that. So, okay. So well, you have to walk him off the table. So, Very slowly. Yeah. So I snag this up because I, I tagged that objective, and then we got to draw another one. So every time, just so y'all know, every time an objective is snagged, another one is drawn yeah, in we, its place. Yeah, so we drew this one, which is secure objective one. And we already have take objective one out there. And that that bottom part says, alternatively, if the, alternatively, if the objective is outside your deployment zone, then you get two victory points instead of one Ooh. victory point. So it, it's, it's double beneficial for yeah. me. So I, I got my eye on that. So this was Jay's turn. He moved his Sikaran forward, lit up my Demolicles. He was not going to let me. That thing gives me plus one to my reserve rolls. Oof. And he wasn't yeah. going to let that happen. Because you got all your flyers waiting to come in. Yeah, yeah. On top of that, that Master of the Signal he had back there gives him an orbital bombardment. And so he just wiped that unit that was trying to take the wow. the uh, the Navigator. Uh, his Daredeo turned around, lit up the... Uh, that Death Storm drop pod, he wasn't going to let it go another turn <laughs> in his deployment. So he lit that up. His quad mortars did work. Uh, Those quad mortars are nasty. Yeah. It's, every time I see them on a board, I just – I played with them, and they're not fun to play with. So, oh, man. Yeah, his Spartan made some some pop shots at the, uh, the guys that are over there with Mon. Uh, so – Pretty much that unit with Mon, I think they lost two people this round. I think it's like eight eight tack guys are left. And that, that whole squad just got white back there. So on my turn, pretty much all my reserves came on, minus the Darkwing. So this I is turn two, right? Yeah, this yeah. is the start of my turn two. So Darkwing doesn't come on, it's back there. Uh, and so my Fire Raptor rolled in, lit up that tack squad over there. What's up, y'all? Yeah, he just... <laughs> Flew in, blasted ass, and <laughs> so I had, and all three of my land speeder squads also came in. Uh, all my plasma cannon land speeders fired into those units of quad mortars over there, oh, and just destroyed them. Destroyed them. They're you know? gone. Those things need to be gone. Yeah, there, there was one quad mortar left, and the master of the signal still there, but they they did work to it. Uh, that Daredeo intercepted my land speeder squad and killed one. Uh, this land speeder squad, for some reason, I wanted that Sakara in dead, even though <laughs> that's a really bold move, that's like, <laughs> right in front of it. That's like 135 <laughs> points versus what that. I think that's 180 points for that land speeder squad. Like something ridiculous. What's the front speeder. armor on it? 
14? Uh, I think it's 13. Oh. It's a car in. Jesus. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is Jay's turn, and he decided to uh, come back and lay into my land speeders with his own land speeders. <laughs> so, all my land speeders that were over here are now dead. Uh, they got lit up by his javelin wow. land speeders with missile launchers and hunter killer missiles. So, they just. Wow, yeah, they just came in there and took them apart. Yeah, it was one one set of land speeders killed my javelins, and then the fire raptor went in, and it, it handled the <laughs> the other normal set of land speeders. Uh, so he popped out Alpharius out of his Spartan and ran and just destroyed that poor little unit of three land speeders that <laughs> I just sacrificed. I sent to their death. <laughs> Like, there was They're no like, way, like, we're going to get this dude. Watch this. No, no. Alfarius, the sneaky little, ba- little bastard, he just rolled up behind everybody. So those guys are pretty much shit in their pants seeing a, a Primark. Oh, yeah, during my turn, I rolled up and capped Objective 1, so I got okay. one of those. Okay, so you got two objective points for it. E- three. Okay. Yeah, because oh, that's right. my, those two outside cards. of my deployment zone. Yeah. So right now the score is sitting at uh, 4 to 0. Ooh, Jay, you better pick it up. So, but Alfarius is now, un- he's now unveiled himself from the, from his Spartan, and he's already started doing work. That's everything that's dead, by the way. It's not looking good. But Darkwing hasn't touched the table yet, so it's got the more Dathan in it. And here it is. More, more Dathan rolled on. My Xiphons decided to go different ways, split up. Uh, the I had one lone land speeder that was left with a plasma cannon, and I, I slung some uh, some plasma blast over there at the Terminator squad, just to just to make them mad because I knew it really wasn't gonna do anything. They're in cataphractic army armor, so they have yeah. a four plus and vulnerable save. Uh, that fire raptor shot its heavy bolsters at those guys to make them jink, so they weren't using their missile launchers next turn. That's a good move. And uh, he used his uh, Avenger bolt cannons to fire at that unit so there's only two guys left but one of them has a power fist so Ugh. yeah they're gonna they're not they're not very present. so what anti flyer does he have to go against yours aside from his one flyer to... well he's got the fire raptor now on the table and that Derdeo is still back there okay. but i actually during my turn i rolled around and really to get away from the terminator is what i was trying to do but uh i i wouldn't charge that Derdeo. i have a melt bomb uh, and uh, yeah, just about the <laughs> okay. bomb on my yeah uh, my sergeant. So he's just trying to trying to kill that Daredeo and keep him tied up from blasting my flyers out of the sky. But so this next turn, I'm a little bit afraid of Alpharius. And yeah, I think actually this next turn is the one that we missed. Cause oh yeah. So Mon and his small squad of guys have the navigator right now. So they're gonna try and get him off the table edge. What do they have standing in the way of them trying to get him off this table edge? Just the fire raptor? Or yeah, no? It's... No, it's off of my table edge. But okay. There wasn't anything there. Uh, so the fire raptor moved forward, fired into the side of my fire raptor. I decided not to jink because he would have needed sixes to glance and. <laughs> he got three sixes out of like it was well you did steal the initiative so he has to get <laughs> yeah, something back it was, from it was that some of the worst rolling uh yeah this is the turn we skipped his turn on accident so he killed that fire raptor during his turn alfarius charged mon and destroyed his unit so during that's pretty much what happened there uh so this is my turn again and my Mordathan popped out. They decided to light up Alpharius, and they got four rending hits on him. Mm. And so, you know, that would have been four wounds, but Jay managed to roll all of his invulnerable saves, four plus invulnerable <laughs> saves, all four of them. And then my both of my uh, Meltas missed, even twin length. So that unit, they rolled forward, Grabbed the navigator, shot at Alpharius, and 
they didn't kill him, so now they're just ready to die. So, just like just like I predicted, Alpharius <laughs> during his assault phase just completely wiped that entire unit. It wasn't even fair. Jeez. They didn't they didn't even get a chance to strike back. Uh, so, during his phase, he got some free shots with the fire raptor at that poor unit holding the navigator. The <laughs> Alpharius murdered them. The Terminators came through. They pretty much knocked that poor little tax squad that was holding that Daredeo up. They, they just didn't Yeah, I was wondering what that Terminator squad was going to do. I mean, that's <laughs> such a dangerous thing to have on the table, and they were just kind of sitting there for a second. Yeah, they, they weren't going to let... They're, they're just a powerhouse unit, so they went and handled, handled business. So Jay really has the advantage right now, just model-wise. I think I have... Uh, one of my Xiphons flew off the table. One's on there still, and my my Darkwing is in hover mode, so he's kind oh, of vulnerable. Really vulnerable right now. And those uh, those lands. What's there. the victory point score right now? Uh, it's still oh well. He got one point for Slay the Warlord, and he has a point for attrition right now. Oh, so it's two to four. It is two to four. Okay. So, during my turn, you remember I told you you had the option of killing the navigator? Mm -hmm. So, he could only capture that navigator in the movement phase. So, during my turn, <laughs> I brought my Xiphon back on <laughs> and fucking cluster warheaded that bug. <laughs> like I was, just murked him. I was like, yeah, nah. I would have done the same thing. I'm not going to let him get five victory points. As, as many people that were sacrificed <laughs> to save that navigator, <laughs> he had to go. He just, it, was, it was done. His time was over. His time was done, so... So pretty much I got Xiphons running around on the board right now, trying to just trying to live. Because if he board wipes me, I definitely lose. But uh, technically right now it's two to four, and actually no, it's four to four because he had the uh, he did uh, he had the uh, tactical objective where if he wipes uh, a unit, yeah. he gets two points. So those are my four victory points I got there. He was ready to tag that last uh, pick up that navigator to score those five. Mm -hmm. And uh, you killed him so that he couldn't do it. I killed him so he couldn't. So he has one for attrition, one for slay the warlord, and then he got these uh, two for wiping the unit. So so now he's just in a scurry trying to get yeah get you wiped. Just trying to wipe me. So this turn he had Alpharius charge the Darkwing. He had everything shoot at that Xiphon, and with that Xiphon it's agile, mm -hmm. so it gets plus one to its jink save. So I just jinked oh, like a month. so yeah. I was rolling three up jinks. That's dope. So. He he fired his fire raptor. He fired everything at the Xiphon. He managed to kill it. Uh, it crashed and burned. Didn't hit anybody. So the only <laughs> thing left on the table was that Xiphon. One Xiphon. One Xiphon. And Ooh. that's pretty much how the the game wrapped up right there. One Xiphon living. Four victory points on each side. And it i mean he definitely won on attrition wise yeah he wiped out so much of my stuff but yeah that's a dangerous army for each of you to bring i'm really surprised that those missile drop pods didn't do more yeah they're, they're pretty garbage this was that the, how he got those two victory points the savage death yeah, yeah so if you wipe a unit you get two victory nah, points. nah yeah and he did definitely did that with alfarius so that's pretty much it man it was a it was a good game all around it was jay's tough. a tough player he's got a lot of strategy yeah, taught me taught me a lot, taught me a lot. I got a lot to learn. A beautiful painted Alfarius. Always kill the navigator. <laughs> just straight up, <laughs> just murder that dude first first turn. Shoot him with a missile, Fox too. <laughs> just, I, would, I feel like if I ever play with that navigator, I'm gonna kill him right away. Yeah. I don't want to give anybody five victory points, but also I feel like those quad mortars that he brought is another way for him to add strategy because everybody's trying to get rid of them so quickly. That you don't focus on other things. So, it was a good game. Yeah. Four to four. Okay.